my weavers so the question today is can you weave tapestry on a rigid head or loom the answer is yes you can but is it ideal no it's not and I'm going to explain why to you in a moment so I've been doing a lot of tapestry recently um, I've been finding that really great in the evenings a uh, really restful activity that where I can sit and be with my family, I can be in a recliner chair and be comfortable and I can just have this on my lap and I've been using my little loom which is an Ashford sample at loom and it's been really fantastic and it's made me think I would really like to do more tapestry. However, it's also been a great exercise in showing me the limitations of the rigid heddle loom when doing tapestry. If you've been hanging around my channel for a while, you may have seen my other tapestry videos which are more about freestyle tapestry weaving. If you haven't seen those, go and check them out. They're like my most popular videos. And the Rigid Heddle Loom works quite well for that style. However, what I've been doing recently is something a little more measured. So I've been doing a series of small tapestries measuring around 4 inches. And they've been around the theme of a cottage on a hill by the sea, which is like one of my favorite things ever. So I thought it was about time that I do a little tapestry series on that just for fun. And I've been using all different materials and trying all different things on the same warp. So first of all, the warp that I'm using is a tapestry cotton. And it's really super strong. It's a great warp. I really like it. This one is from Ashford. And on each tapestry I have been using different materials just to see what sort of look appeals to me the most. And I have to say this one is my favourite so far. This one's done mostly in 8-2 cotton and cotillon. So what were the limitations that I was talking about before? Well, the whole issue really comes down to the tension. The rigid heddle loom just cannot provide the adequate tension that you need to be really successful with tapestry weaving. So on the rigid heddle loom I'm finding things like really um, bumpy edges, I'm finding ridges in my work and that sort of thing and also just when you're actually weaving you can't get really tight tension. Let me show you what I mean by that. Looking at the loom from the side you can see that to create the two sheds in rigid heddle weaving we thread one warp thread onto a hole and the next one onto a slot and that's where the problem for tapestry weaving lies so when I go into different sheds one set of threads is really tight at the top and a little looser at the bottom not too bad I go into the down shed once again tighter on the top and and fairly tight on the bottom but these two sets are separate and they don't have the same tension you can really see this when I go into the neutral position and then you can see that that the threads threaded through the holes are very loose whereas the ones in the slots are very tight Now that's not really a problem if you're weaving say a scarf or other household items, towels and things like that. The, the difference in the tension doesn't make that much difference to what you're weaving. But when it comes to a tapestry, you need all of the threads to be under super tension so that when you pack the weft down you're going to have consistent results. Now does this mean that I don't think you should use your rigid heddle loom for tapestry? Absolutely not. I think if you want to have a go at it, surely have a go on your rigid heddle loom. And I have done quite a bit of tapestry on these looms. Um, I just think that if you want to advance in tapestry a little bit more, then it's going to be worth your while investing in a proper tapestry loom where you can really get that proper tension. And there are all kinds of tapestry looms. Um, at the moment I'm looking at getting possibly a small Mirix loom, but I'm not sure yet. When I'm going to buy a new piece of equipment or a new loom or whatever it is to do with weaving then I spend quite a bit of time researching and looking around, looking at reviews and all of that kind of thing before I decide on what I'm going to purchase. If you're interested in these little cottage projects that I've been doing, I'll have the other pictures of the other pieces that I've done up on my blog 
as well as a good book recommendation for those who are just starting out with tapestry weaving. So definitely head over to my blog and check that out if you're interested. The link will be down below. I also do have a tapestry class available on my weaving lessons platform. I'll also put the link for that down below. That is a members only class. So if you found this video interesting, I really encourage you to have a go at tapestry. Seriously, it's so much fun. It's it's not a fast weave, but it, as I said, it's so relaxing and a good thing to do in the evenings. Other things can be going on around you and it it doesn't matter. It doesn't require a huge amount of concentration, a little bit of planning and then experimentation. And I just love it. So thanks for watching everyone and until next time, happy, happy weaving.